it's so important for me to make sure kids aren't scared to ask the questions they want to ask or aren't scared to share their ideas because if they are, they're just, they're missing out on the opportunity to test their thinking and to see if it's correct and to push it further. So at the beginning of the year, I do an activity um, that I came across in a professional development a few years ago called Zones of Comfort, Risk, and Danger. And so I draw three concentric circles with chalk and the outermost circle is like the comfort zone and then in the middle, that's like the danger zone and then the very center is the risk zone. And so I give students a variety of situations like um, singing in the shower or dancing in public or reading out loud or getting called on to answer a question without knowing, you know, and I give them a variety of like everyday examples, but also, you know, school examples and kids like physically move themselves into the appropriate zone. And I think the most powerful thing about that is seeing that everyone moves into the danger or risk zone at different times. And so I feel like it kind of helps to eliminate the whole, I'm the only one who feels this way. Everyone else seems so confident. I mean, kids are acting every day and they're putting on that confidence, which is great. Um, but sometimes it, it's really intimidating to other kids who, you know, maybe are a little bit more insecure.